Business Development Show. I'm Kirsten Kloss, and I'm joined here with Chris Hamilton from SalesTipAday.com. Chris, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Kirsten. So uh, today uh, our topic is going to be how to use chat in order to generate sales leads and more and specifically chat on a website. Chris, can you maybe uh, elaborate a bit on this whole idea of of chat interaction with leads? Sure, uh, Kirsten. Um, it's uh, having a live chat function on your website is uh, is something that's it's not necessarily new. Uh, it's been um, available for quite a few years. But you have to take an understanding of, of how to um, leverage it and use it properly. So on average, what you find is about 80% of people that hit your website uh, will leave and never come back again. And um, if you could even engage with a small portion of those people, you have a tremendous opportunity to turn these people into uh, a, a sales lead and potentially a client. And the reason being is because they've come to your website for a reason. They found you somehow. and the reason they're backing off is because they can't find the information that they need and you give them no means for engaging with you to figure out what it is they're actually trying to uh, to get answered. I'll give you some ideas here. I've, I've, I've done some online research and this is a report done through Deloitte. Um, you know, 60% of people are going online to find out about local uh, services and products. I've actually seen statistics higher than that, um, but I'll use that. It comes from Deloitte. 83% of these people need help during their investigation online. So a lot of times people will come online and start investigating something that they're looking for. And, and you know, 83% of these people need your help. So if you're not engaging with them, 83% of these people will go elsewhere to figure out someone that will actually engage with them. 73 or 71% of these people expect immediate assistance uh, when they're online and want their questions answered. And 48% of them will actually leave if mm. you actually do not engage with them, never to come back again. That's also part of that 80% that just never come back ever again. Um, so as I'm looking down, I'm looking at more stats here that I've, I've been able to cover uh, and cover. But what we do is we run a process where we put a live chat widget up on a website and we engage with people based on certain parameters of what they're doing on your website. So let's say, for example, a new visitor comes to your website and is there for more than 30 seconds on a specific page for a product. What we can do is trigger something that puts a live chat box up saying, hey, I see you're looking at this. Can we help you with any questions that you might have? Some people may just blatantly ignore this or back right out of the site. Other people go, you know what? Yeah, I am actually trying to figure out something. What can you tell me about this? And then you start engaging in this conversation with the ultimate goal of, hey, how would you like to talk to someone from the company or how would you like to figure out more? Or give us your name and email and we'll get engaged with you on this sort of stuff. When it comes to certain parameters around this sort of stuff, uh, some more stats that happen on this are seven and a half people that are, are engaged in a conversation or approach you in a conversation, literally seven and a half, uh, the, 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 odds of them becoming a client are seven and a half times greater because you're actually engaging with them answering their questions. On average, 24% of these people that you engage with will become clients. They spend on average 55% more. Now here's a kicker though. If you actually prompt them and get engaged with them, nine and a half times, it's a nine and a half times greater chance that these guys will become clients. So let's think about this for a sec. I'm engaging with people that would not have become clients anyways, and I'm turning them into a sales funnel. And not only that, you know, 24% of the time they buy and they spend 55% more than most customers. That's a tremendous stat that I think you should leverage. Chris, is that because you're engaging them in a conversation about solving problems and, and kind of pulling out new uh, opportunities through that dialogue? Is that what's happening? Absolutely, Kirsten. I mean, it is. It's just a dialogue that's happening, and it's it's a sales interaction, actually, that's happening with uh, with people. So, you know, what we have is we have a solution.